Hey guys, this is Electro16. Uh, today I'm going to show you the um, Entertainment Earth exclusive Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Marvel Legends set. Um, it comes in this uh, white uh, mailer. Here we have the set. Sorry, there's a bit of glare there. Uh, so this is uh, front of the packaging. It says uh, Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Marvel Legends Infinite Series, and you have the Entertainment Earth exclusive sticker. And on top it says Marvel Legends Infinite Series. And on the side here you have uh, the uh, uh, faces of all the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, in the uh, uh, in the Guardians of the Galaxy logo. Uh, so we have Groot, Gamora, uh, Star Lord, Drax, and uh, Rocket Raccoon. And at the bottom says Marvel Legends Infinite Series. And here in the back, you have sort of the glare there. You have. Um, Actual picture of the figures that are uh, uh, in this set. Uh, a lot of glare. Sorry about that. Yeah, a little bit better. So, uh, have a group there in the back Gamora, Rocket, Raccoon, uh, Drax, and uh, Star Lord. And uh, they'll see on the, on the top Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy, and on the right Marvel Legends of the Infinite Series. And, uh, on the bottom, in four different languages, it says, Led by the wandering Atlas Star-Lord, these interstellar heroes defend the universe. And on the other side here, you have the same thing as the other side. And not much on the bottom. So I open up. The set here on the uh, inside here. I have a, uh, another picture, I believe. Yeah, it's the same picture as the on the cover. Very nice. And here we have all the figures. Uh, this is an incredibly nice set. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually amazed. I was actually really uh, amazed and surprised when I uh, opened the uh, the box up there, the mailer, and uh, pulled this out and uh, saw all the uh, the attention to put to the packaging. Uh, you know, we, we have been getting other ex exclusives. Um, you know, there was Target exclusives, uh, and uh, we just got the second one there with the um, White Vision, and uh, their previous one was what was with um, uh, Miss Marvel and uh, uh, Captain America and. Um, Look at the green guy there. I forget his name. And uh, we also got the um, uh, Toys R Us, uh, Toys R Us uh, Shield exclusive. And where else? They also, there's the Amazon exclusive coming. Uh, and none of them. I mean, th all those basically have the regular box. This one here, they went uh, a step above uh, with a lot of uh, attention to the packaging. I mean, uh, to me, this is. Uh, uh, San Diego Comic Con uh, exclusive uh, uh, attention. This is really nice. Uh, they really uh, <coughs> took the time to uh, think it out and uh, give us a really beautiful packaging. Um, uh, so this is a really nice set. Uh, on the top here we have uh, Rocket, uh, which is basically uh, a repaint of the um, uh, the Builder figure. And uh, also the one that comes with, if you um, um, subscribe to the uh, uh, Marvel Comic Service, uh, but it's a repaint. Uh, so it's, this is like uh, a third version because the, the uh, Bill of Figures has one paint job. The uh, exclusive for the uh, uh, comic book thing has another. Uh, paint job, and this one, the third one here, has uh, another paint job. Uh, I have the Builder figure, and I have this one here, this subscription one I don't have, but I've seen, and I prefer the paint job on this one here. I think it's uh, uh, 
much nicer and I think it, his face pops more with this paint job. Uh, he comes with uh, three guns, uh, a small one, this is the same one I believe that comes with the Builder figure. Um, this is one here which looks a lot like uh, what he had in the movie. And this is other one here. Um, here in the bottom we have Groot, um, which is basically the um, uh, the same body as the Builder figure, uh, with a new head sculpt and uh, a new paint job. Um, I like both of them. Uh, I think the other one is a nice movie uh, version, and I like this one here. I think the it's a uh, nice comic uh, version. It looks a little more mean, um, a little more aggressive. Um, I think they probably wanted to tone it down a bit in the movie to make him look um, friendlier, uh, which is okay. I'm okay with that. But uh, I like the also the more mean and aggressive look we have here. Uh, in the middle here we have Star Lord. Uh, he comes with uh, two weapons. Uh, again, this is a, a repaint uh, from the uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, from uh, a few years back there from the other set. Um, we have here a small Groot in a pot, and we have the Cosmic Cube. Uh, I find it a bit peculiar that they put the Cosmic Cube. Uh, I'm okay with it, but I, th I would have preferred, I think, would have been. Uh, suited better if they had put the orb that we see in the movie. I think would have been a little more appropriate. Um, and here on top we have Gamora, uh, basically uh, a new figure, uh, very nice figure, uh, very nice sculpt, uh, very nice paint job. Uh, you, you know, and the, the way they they put her in the packaging here, the her uh, uh, sort of like uh, what would you would call that there, but it looks like a bit of, like a like a poncho uh, cloth uh, cloth poncho there. It's covering, but I, I like uh, everybody I've seen uh, videos on YouTube and pictures online, so I know what the figure looks like. So uh, very nice paint job, uh, very nice sculpt. Like I said, um, she comes with an alternate head and uh, a sword. Very nice sword. Uh, both head sculpts are very nice, uh, very detailed. And here on the bottom, uh, we have Drax. Um, very nice figure. Uh, <clears throat> again, this is, I believe, the uh, Marvel Now uh, Drax, because uh, he has like these uh, gauntlets there, and the uh, costume's a bit different. Um, very nice figure. Uh, very nice sculpt, a very nice uh, paint job. Um, I have the movie Drax, but I did not pick up the original Drax that we got, uh, and uh, so I'm glad that uh, I got this one. Um, I think this this uh, body mold uh, uh, suits him better. It's, it's more, it's beefier compared to the first one. Uh, Drax comes with uh, an extra set of hands, uh, which are green, so if you want you can take those off and uh, you have a completely green uh, figure. And uh, he comes also with um, a pair of uh, daggers, which look very much like uh, the movie ones. And uh, he comes also with uh, a set of knives. Uh, these are the knives that come with... Um, what's his name? And the Marvel Legends 2 pack there, the, uh, hey, we're gonna get a blank, uh, Warpath, sorry, Warpath, and, uh, the Marvel Legends 2 pack with, uh, Deadpool, so those are the, the knives that come with, uh, Warpath, <coughs> so, uh, all in all, a very nice set, uh, very highly recommended, um, even, even if you do have the, uh, the movie set. I recommend this uh, just the same. Uh, you won't regret it. It's uh, a very, very nice set. And like I said, uh, to me, it's uh, for the the above and the above and beyond uh, step there that uh, they they took to for the packaging. And uh, uh, to me, this is San Diego Comic Con quality uh, exclusive. Uh, it's that nice. And uh, you know, not just the figures themselves, but I love the packaging. Uh, I don't think I can. Uh, said it enough, but, uh, I mean, they went, you know, 
really uh, above and beyond there because I mean, if you had, like I said, if you see, look at the, all the other exclusives, it's just the regular, you know, standard packaging, and this one here. I mean, they just uh, they went all out. So very nice set, uh, and I uh, recommend it. So uh, that's it for this time, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the uh, like button and uh, comment and uh, subscribe. And uh, until next time.